How's it going? My name's Nico. I go by Cointrick and Cointrick Twitch Online. If you want to see more videos like this one, please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload another one of these videos. Welcome. My name's Nico. I go by Cointrick and Cointrick Twitch Online. Today, we're going to be making a drink that I saw on TikTok. So the drink looks like a version of a white Russian, which would normally just have vodka, cream, and Kahlua in there. Obviously there's a lot more going on in this drink though. So what's the recipe? You guys probably noticed in the video, there aren't actually any measurements. And they, they also don't tell you like what that sauce is on the inside of the glass and what they're using to rim the glass with. So this is going to be my version of that drink, trying to get as close to that as possible and still make it taste good. First thing you're gonna need is a rocks glass. Then we're gonna drizzle the inside with chocolate. We're gonna get chocolate on the top as well. Then we're gonna do a graham cracker crust rim over that chocolate sauce. Then we're gonna do one ounce each of the whiskey, the peanut butter whiskey and the Kahlua. Top that with the pumpkin sweet cold foam. And then we're gonna toast some marshmallows on top of that. So I guess you could say this drink is like a pumpkin spice peanut butter s'more white Russian. All right, so let's make a drink. And actually the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make that pumpkin cream cold foam. What is it? Well, in this drink, the pumpkin cream cold foam is acting as the substitute for the cream that you would normally use in a white Russian. So you're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk, heavy whipping cream, some pumpkin puree, and then I like using some chai spice. You can use pumpkin pie spice if you want, or you can just omit this entirely, but this makes a world of difference in this drink. First thing, we're gonna make sweet cream first. You're, we're gonna dry shake the whipping cream and the sweetened condensed milk. So I'm gonna do four ounces or about half a cup of this uh, heavy whipping cream and then two ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And we're gonna shake this just like that. And then we're gonna add the pumpkin and the spice here in a second. So really important to just shake the crap out of this. Uh, you don't have to shake it. You can use uh, a regular blender. You can use an immersion blender. You can use a milk foamer. Uh, but I have all these shakers laying around. So I just decided to do that instead. So, yep, consistency looks nice. It should look kind of like, like a watery pancake batter. So to this, we're gonna add these two things. Grab a bar spoon if you have one. We're gonna start with two mounded bar spoons of this uh, spice chai mix. Three spoons of the pumpkin spice, or the pumpkin puree. Seal it up again, and then once again, just shake the hell out of it. So uh, the reason I use the spice chai mix is actually because back when I was a barista, we sold and made some of the, if not the best pumpkin spice lattes. Our secret, two very simple things. We used pumpkin puree, canned pumpkin puree. Uh, we would keep it frozen when we weren't using it and then we'd thaw it the day that we needed it. And then we'd add a little bit of our powdered spice chai that we used to make our chai masala or chai lattes. And that was our like version of a pumpkin spice latte. Technically that's a dirty pumpkin spice chai latte, but tasted phenomenal. So let's see how this came out. Woo. All right, so that whipping cream has definitely done its job. Next, we're gonna start dressing up this glass. Remember that chocolate sauce I talked about before? I didn't have a squeeze bottle to get like that nice elegant thing, so I made one of my own. You can do little designs if you feel confident enough to get like a nice, even, consistent layer. I had a lot of practice doing this at my coffee shop. I like doing swirls around the side. So you're gonna do that. Now we need to get chocolate around the top of this thing. A little tray here with some of the chocolate sauce. We don't need a whole lot because this isn't supposed to be a chocolate cocktail. Just enough to stick to the rim because this is what the graham cracker is gonna stick to here in a second. Make sure it's nice coated all over. Now I've gone ahead and I've ground up the graham crackers here in a mortar and pestle. Just gonna turn this over, get it 
in here. Oh, I didn't get chocolate on that side. There we go. We got that graham cracker rim. Now I'm gonna put some ice in there and we can begin to actually build the drink itself. Hand flavored ice. Remember I said one ounce each for all of our liquors. That's our peanut butter whiskey. For the regular whiskey itself, I'm gonna be using Old Granddad Bottled and Bond and top that with some Kahlua. Don't forget to stir this around before you put anything on top of it. I top it off with some of that cold foam, the cream, the pumpkin cream foam that we made. It should settle at the top relatively easily. Now the last thing you have to do is to put that marshmallow garnish on there. We've got our marshmallows, but we need to toast them. Careful using fire at home, by the way. It doesn't take a whole lot to caramelize these. There it is, the, the drink that we first found on TikTok that I made without a recipe and only knowing half of the ingredients. Uh, so, I bet you guys are thinking the same thing that I am. I really wanna know how this tastes. That's kind of cool. The cream gets on the marshmallow. I need to stop making creamy drinks. With all of the weird stuff happening in this drink uh, and the, conf like, the conflicted identity that's in there, there's a lot that's actually working really well. Uh, but it is incredibly rich. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, I get a lot of pumpkin in this. The difference between mine and the one in the video, you can tell my, the cream that I made is actually orange and that's definitely coming from the pumpkin. So I think probably the cream that they used in their video may have just been flavored with some like pumpkin spice syrup uh, instead. So I get a lot more pumpkin flavor here that those chai flavors come through really well. All of the s'more flavors, the chocolate, the marshmallow, and the graham cracker come through, but it's it's almost like drinking three drinks at once. I encourage you guys to make this at home. I don't know if I'd put this on a menu, but this is, this is really good. If I had to change this, I would probably break this into two different drinks. Uh, there would probably be one like, peanut butter coffee drink on one side and then, uh, or maybe peanut butter s'more coffee drink on one side. And then on the other side, we would have like the pumpkin spice coffee white Russian. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for all of your help and support. Hopefully I've been helpful and supportive for you all as well since that's why we do everything that we do here. If you learned anything during this video, please like and subscribe and comment what drinks you wanna see us make in a future video.